So today I'm going to be discussing a project uh, that I'm doing for my master's in media arts technology, which is called Open Spaces. And uh, so what this is is a photo taken from Rattlesnake Canyon Park paired with a field recording. And they're both at exactly the same geographical location and distance. So my project is interested in what gives us a sense of place and how can linking image and sound um, make us connect more connected to our environment. So I'll show a screenshot of the project. It's still a work in progress, but the idea is that so I've spatialized photos and field recordings based on their GPS locations. And this is going to be presented as an installation. Uh, there will be a series of five simulations of a full day from dawn to dusk in five parks. And uh, I took all the photos myself. There's, a, there's about 10,000 in one of the simulations, and, and there's hours of recording for each. This is a separate. This is the same part, but a different location. So, let me skip ahead. So, my goal was, like I said, to create an immersive, interactive installation, uh, audio visual installation, which consists of a series of simulations of the sights and sounds of five parts from dawn to dusk. These are the, the areas, and I've, I've hiked these um, since I got here in 2010. And here you see the photos. Um, this is each of those represents a cluster of photos, and this is not my own software. This is a this is an Apple program called Aperture. It's a photo library management system, and it, it gives us this overview of um, a map with all the, the different locations. And I just wanted to show the scale that I'm working at. And um, another thing that I can talk about here is that clearly, um, even though some of my, I wanted to try to take photos at evenly spaced intervals so that I have the same density across the, the simulation, but obviously that's not entirely possible. The topology uh, prevents that. And, and so one of the major technical issues with the project was, uh, was overcoming this, these differences in photo density and in, in density of sounds. And uh, what, what I did to overcome this, one way was I look at clusters. So just like Aperture will link these um, photos. See, each point is like 20 photos or something. And my project does that. And when you're navigating, it only lets you go where there's going to be enough photos to give you a panoramic view of some kind. Another way I tried to solve this problem of incompleteness is the, the project is open-ended. I can always add more photos. And of course, just like when you're hiking, it, our memory is never complete, right? Um, we can always learn more about a space, and that's kind of what I'm interested in. Um, I'm going to skip away at here. <laughs> so, so here's one, one piece of art that really influenced me, David Hockney, um, these photo collages, where you see the, the record of the photographic process. And this is, this is what my project is. So, thanks.